Hi, my name is Tuli and today I will take you through the candidate card in Team Taylor. That is a place where you and your hiring team will be able to assess and review all the candidates coming in, as well as work together in finding your future colleagues. Let's have a look. You will be able to find the candidate card in two different areas in the platform, either in the Jobs tab or in the Candidates tab. When you click onto the candidate's name, it will make their personal card pop up. On the left hand side, you will always be able to find their personal details that they have applied with. You can see the job you are currently assessing them in, as well as any other jobs they may have applied to. If you are a part of the hiring team for those other jobs, you can also easily swap the job that you are currently assessing them in. When you scroll down on the page, you will also be able to find, for example, the questions they may have answered to at the time of them applying, as well as a resume if they have included one. The sections you see here on the left hand side, you can also reorganize. You can simply drag and drop them to make sure that you are assessing the relevant information. On the right hand side of the candidate card is where you and your hiring team can work together in assessing the candidate. In the Activity tab, you can see everything that has been done with this candidate, who has done it and when it was done. In the Comments section, you can leave comments and you can even tag your hiring team to notify them of these comments. These comments can be made either job specific or candidate specific. If you choose to make the comments candidate specific, any other hiring manager can also view them in the other jobs that this candidate is a part of. You will be able to do that by clicking on the filter tab up the top here and selecting the option for all jobs. The next tab is to do's. In here you will be able to assign some tasks to either yourself or to someone else from the hiring team. You can simply select which user should be doing this task and when it should be done by. In the interviews tab is where you will be able to find what we call interview kits. These are so-called questionnaires that your company may have set up for you to use during your interviews. When you click to leave feedback, you will be able to find the questions you should be asking as well as some skills and trades you should be assessing. In addition to filling those details in, you will also have the opportunity of leaving any additional comments that you think that would be valid. You can either from there then choose to save this as a draft so that it's only visible for you or you can completely save it so that it can be viewed by other hiring team members. The last tab inside your candidate card is the messages section. These are actual email messages that you can send to the candidates so that you can keep all your communication in one place. Whenever sending messages, you can always choose to work with some templates that you may have already in the platform. When a candidate responds to you, their response will also be visible here. As you continue to take the candidate through the recruitment process, you will also continue to build on their candidate card. For example, after you have filled in an interview kit feedback, you will be able to find it here on the left hand side in the collapsible menu section. On the bottom of the left hand side, you will also find your black action bar. From here, you can for example move candidates to the next stage. You can book interviews with them. You can also find the same comment, to do and message sections as you have on the right hand side. And behind the More button, you will also be able to do some additional actions regarding the candidate's job application and the candidate itself. Lastly, if you feel that the candidate shouldn't be proceeding in your recruitment process, you can also reject them from here. When you click to reject them, you will firstly need to specify a reason. Choose if you want to reject them with a message or without. And if you choose the with a message option, you can find some templates for you to use, or you can completely customize the message on the spot. You will also have the option of delaying a message if you don't want to reject them on the same day. 
So now you know all about our candidate card. Thank you for watching. If you feel that you need any help throughout, remember that our support team is always there to help you. Happy recruiting!